Let's see what it do. <laughs> close man you're too damn close what's going on tube you welcome back to the channel ladies and gents i hope you guys enjoyed that last video man i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you guys like the next one and if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe please i need the subs i need the views help me get up there with the bigger youtubers the ones who keep clickbait and all that jazz i'm i don't do that stuff so why don't you why don't you just come watch my stuff instead? You know, at least my title says what the video is about. You know what I'm saying? At least my thumbnails aren't you know misleading in any way. Sometimes. Well, anyway, uh, so I get the questions all the time. What's done to your car? What exhaust you got? Or what shot you running? Blah 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 blah. All those questions. So I'm done answering one by one. I'm going to answer them in this video right here. Even though I know. No, I know two, three, four, five videos from now, I'm still going to get the question. And then there's going to be that one dickhole who's going to ask it just to be funny. Just to be funny. They're going to be like, hey, man, what's on your car? I know it. I know it. Here it comes. It's probably going to happen in this video. I know it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Comment below. I'm weak. I'm going to wait. Go ahead. Do it. Yep. Go ahead. Type it on up because I know you're about to do it. Anyway, let's start. Let's get right into it. Uh, first things first. Uh, shout out to my good buddy Dane Young over at National Speed Incorporated, or he used to be at National Speed Incorporated, but uh, I guess he figured he's taking his talents down to South Beach, and uh, he moved down to Florida, but when he was at National Speed Inc., his last week or so there, I happened to hit him up, and I told him I needed my work orders so I can, you know, make this video, show you, tell you guys exactly what's done to this vehicle and all that jazz. Within minutes... He had the work order sent right to my little old uh, book face. I was about to say MySpace. Wow. Anyway, so starting work order number one. I'll start from the top. Uh, HP tuners. A lot of you ask what to tune with. It's not Diablo. I don't have a handheld. None of that jazz. It's HP tuners. Boom. No Diablo. Uh, next thing, PCM. So I have two PCMs. The modified PCM, which is in the vehicle now, and the stock PCM, which is sitting back at home, all that jazz. All of you know, if it's a 15 plus vehicle, you have to send the PCM off to get it unlocked or buy a separate one. I chose option B. I didn't need or I didn't have the time to have the vehicle sitting still and downtime and all that jazz. I needed it to be up and running. So instead of two to three weeks of downtime, it was only down for maybe a day or two. Boom. Easy to go. So there's that. Uh, Dino Tune headers, headers, American racing headers, or let's go ahead and since we're on headers right now, let's just go ahead and talk about the exhaust as well. So, headers one and seven eighth American racing headers, one and seven eighth, not one and two eighth or not one and two eighth, one and two third or three inches, nothing crazy. One and seven eighth, that's the size headers that I'm running. Long tube, catless. Not high flow cats, not cat it, catless. No cats. And, okay, long tubes, head it back into the stock exhaust with the muffler leak. Nothing simple, or keeping it simple. Nothing, you know, complicated here. No boilers, no attacks, no courses for me. We're keeping it simple. Muffler leak, stock exhaust. Boom. American Racing Headers, catless. That's how I get this awesome sound that is the symphony that comes out of these exhaust pipes. It just sounds gorgeous all the time, anytime, every time, all the time. So if you want your Hemi to sound like this here, American Racing Headers, Catless, Muffler Delete. Good to go. And that's how you sound like this. Uh, I couldn't justify spending the money on, you know, some other exhaust. I, I, I simply couldn't. You know, it was like 1200 bucks for like the tax, uh, 1500 for like the Corsa Extremes or whatever. No, not happening. They all sound way too similar to be, to be spending that kind of money to, spout, to sound barely any different. The, mu 
these cars with just a muffler to leap sound freaking perfect. That's how they should have came from the factory. I mean, they, the stock exhaust sounds wonderful as it is, but with the muffler to leap, whole new level, and then you throw the freaking Catless headers in there, man. Oh my God, you guys have heard it, man. It's freaking ridiculous. I thought I thought the muffler to leap was something serious, and then I started this baby girl up for the first time, picking her up from National Speed Inc. Go watch the video if you haven't, and just see my true reaction. None of that fake mess you be seeing like on other YouTube channels. Oh, dear, this sounds so wicked. Well, they rehearsed their reaction like 15 times. But anyway, different story, enough of that. That's exhaust. American Racing headers, one and seven eighth inch, catless long tubes, going straight into the muffler deleted stock exhaust. I still have the resonators because a lot of you asked that as well yes i still have the resonators on the car the exhaust valves still a thing they still work although they one of them is squeaking right now so i need to go get that checked out but uh exhaust valves still work resonators still there stock exhaust american race headers boom we good don't ask please next so we covered headers to nitrous kit that's 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 the one you guys are here for. That's what you guys want to know. So let me pull up that work order. So we're gonna start off with the plugs because that's the boring part. Uh, NGK spark plugs, part number 5107, uh, one step colder. As you all know, those are the ones that are currently in the vehicle. Uh, they're on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find them on other stores as well. I'll put the link in Amazon down in the description somewhere if you guys feel yourself inclined to you know go buy yourself some uh so for all of you wondering what safety nets i'm running no i don't have meth just a simple 100 shot uh car put down 560 because you asked this as well what's your car put down put down about 560 instead of just going to watch the video which you should uh car put down about 560 over 590 something ish like that 560 over 590 on the hunter shot that's what i'm running not 75 not 125 100 shot that's what the car is running only safety net is the one step colder plugs i'm not running race gas i'm not running meth none of that jazz that's it now for the kit itself uh it's a 10 pound bottle well it's a nitrous express plate kit temp with a 10 pound bottle uh I also have the bottle heater, the one that just wraps right around it. Uh, no night, no bottle opener, so I have to do that the peasant way. I get back there and do it myself. And it's operated with a window switch. And the window starts at about 35 to 4,000 RPM. I'm never really paying attention because I'm always, you know, holding on for dear life when the nitrous kicks in so i'm never really paying attention but from the videos and you know the sound based on what me and a buddy could try to gauge it looks like it's right around right in between three to four thousand rpms when that window kicks in now i'm going to show you right here heater purge activate now this button right here uh doesn't it's not it's not not like the movies so I don't think you're just gonna hit the switch while you're driving along and then just go spraying off like fast and furious out here that's not how it works you hit the switch that arms the system it's an arming switch it's not the activation switch like I said the window switch is what uh, activates the nitrous that gets you to spray and then that activates the fun and that's how all of that works my car turned off and now moving uh, I'm pretty sure that's it uh, some people no, no one never really asks you know in the videos but here's the engage the engage is for swapping tunes on the fly and monitoring stuff you know you go in here you got your what's the stuff you got your couple of little gauges in here you hook it up it's hooked up down there to do OBD2 and you just go through and do whatever problem is when this car when this was put in the car HP didn't even have the tuning capability to do this with Dodge just yet. Like you could tune the Dodges, you just couldn't, the Engage didn't have the capability for that just yet. You know, swapping tunes and all that jazz on the fly. Other manufacturers did, not the Dodges. So, as of right now, it's just a 
the expense of paperweight or window weight, if I may. But if I move up to a 125 or something like that in the future, and I do need that, you know, on the fly tuning, then it's here. I can do it, but I probably won't. It's probably just going to stay an expensive window weight. Now, everything has been covered nitrous kit, exhaust, tires, tires. Okay, so at the house, I have two rear uh 17 by nine and a half race stars dark stars to be exact and um i just ordered my racing tires they're going to be mickey thompson e.t e street r's uh 305 45 17s that's what they're getting wrapped in and as far as go fast parts that's the last part that's it not touching the car no more once those go on it's a wrap Baby girl is done. If she can't beat you like that, she probably won't beat you. Plain and simple. So, that's that for this video. Everything has been covered. Uh, I can't think of anything else, but I'm pretty sure there will be some question down there to ask something that I probably don't have to answer to. I'll try to answer it. I tried to answer all the questions in this video. If I didn't, I'm sorry. If I did, kudos. Um... But enough dragging this video on. It's getting late. I'm going to grab some food. Yeah, I really can't think of anything else. I'm pretty sure that's it. Just a kit, exhaust, headers, wheels. All that has been covered. Uh, that, that should be everything. So, no more questions about what's done to the car, please. Here's the video for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you swing over to the Instagram channel at low392slow, all one word. I'll put that down in the description as well. I'm out. You folks have a swell afternoon. And uh, I'm going to sleep. Peace.